right, Shalom Israel, we back on the front line, 1617 Northeast 23rd. We back on the front line, man. We back doing what we do, trying to bring this truth to our people. And uh, we, we had a lot of drama going on lately, but our people got a bad uh, little taste in their mouth about the Israelites for some reason, just from people saying, putting lies on us. A lot of people put a lot of lies on us. And it, it gives our people a bad taste in their mouth about the Israelites. But we're going to try to change their uh, mind about that. We're going to go on and give them this truth out here on the front line so they won't look at us in that light. Stay tuned, Israel. Shalom. How you doing, sis? I'm doing good, sweetie. All right. Can I introduce myself? Yes, you can. Okay. Hey, my name is Shalom. I'm one of my best, best friends in the whole wide world. Rapper child, he in California. Is he? He, yeah. he wearing purple and gold? He wearing all that. Okay, so listen. He is your best friend in the whole wide world, right? So he done told you then. But he, he, he can't school me. I'm older than him for one. Uh-huh. Two. Uh, where he came from is where I came from. Now, y'all rock the Old Testament, correct? We rock the whole Bible. Bible. I get that. But you can't establish your own foundation. It has to be Christ's foundation. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. Christ coming back to get his church. Uh-huh. You're right. That he established, that he purchased with his blood. Uh-huh. So, me personally, I rock church of Christ. Right. Now, whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, I'm not responsible for my own salvation. You're right. Absolutely so, right. So, what I get after being baptized for the mission of my sins, uh -huh. after I get baptized and I receive that Holy Spirit, it's my responsibility to sustain and retain, well, retain and sustain my salvation. Mm -hmm. I can listen to somebody. Mm -hmm. I can interpret somebody. I can, I might, might even be able to learn from somebody. Right. But what I won't do is go into a church and let everything the minister say act like it came straight out that scripture. Right. Because he got emotions, he got sins, he got everything we got. A lot of times when ministers bring stuff that's not even in them scriptures. You me? So. I done walked out of many churches when they bust open a book other than the Bible. So that's why we are out here teaching our people one thing that you fail to say yet. Your nationality. I'm black and so is white. Right. His complexion was black. But that's not your nationality. Because Christ said something about where he's from. Give me that in, in uh, Jeremiah. Let's show the sister what tribe Christ was from. Because, like you said, these pastors is lying to us. They taking our they money. money. Period. They, they telling us that the law's done away with. You ain't got to keep no laws. Woo. Okay, now you're touching me. Now you're, now you're touching a, 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 a close subject, bro. Right now, if I, if I put you on the phone with somebody, I'm telling you, she gonna school you better, you better go to school. My mama, my mama, ain't nothing you can teach my mama. But I wanted to come out but the scriptures. So look, like show this. she. So look, we finna show you mm -hmm. Go ahead. what tribe still gonna stick my mama Christ come from. Get that. Hebrews chapter, four, chapter, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh-huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord, our Savior, mm -hmm. sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Okay. That's the tribe that Christ is from. That's okay. the tribe that I'm from, the tribe okay. of Judah. I don't have a problem with so, that. So Christ's nationality was an Israelite. Huh. He, he was, was an Israelite. Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Okay. So now we're going to show you what the Jews look like. Give me that Jeremiah. We're going to show you what the Jews look like because there's somebody that's calling themselves Jews right now. Mm -hmm. But they not really Jews. Can no, you agree with might, that? But they mighty wealthy because they stingy like that. Now watch. We're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on that. We, why, 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 why. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourning. Judah mourning. It's us the ones that's in mourning. Mm -hmm. Our people, the ones that's in mourning, getting gunned down in the street. Mm -hmm. Not the Jewish, that's us, read. And the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. Now, we just read out the Bible that mm -hmm. the Jews are black. And we just read that the tribe of Jew, because the, uh, the word uh, Jew comes from Judah. So we just read that Christ was from the tribe of Judah. And we just read what the Jewish or the Jew, the actual real Jews look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it says they're black, right? Mm -hmm. Now you said Christ is black, just like me and you. And I asked your nationality and you said black, but according to these scriptures and everything that we read in, we are the Israelites and the people that's calling themselves Jews is liars and fakes. Give me that in Revelations 2 and 9. 
Revelations 2 and verse 9 is going to show who these people that's running around that done stole our identity, stole our heritage, yeah, took, took our everything, took everything that's from us mm -hmm. and claimed it for themselves. We're going to see what the Bible calls them. Revelations chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations. So the scripture says, I know your works and tribulations. You just said them Jewish people, they not going through tribulation. They not putting in no works for the most high God. Right. Read. And poverty. And poverty. Them Jewish people, they not going through no poverty, right? Right. So who is this speaking about? Us. The 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 Jews are black. Right? Read on. But thou art rich. We rich because we get the kingdom of God. Exactly. That was all given to us. Everything that's written in this Bible was given to us. That's what makes us rich. Read. Right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. So he know the lies of people that saying that they Jews. Read. And are not. Uh huh. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. The scriptures say that these people that's running around calling themselves Jews are lying. And they're the people synagogue. People that are running around calling themselves anything. They're, they're the synagogue of Satan. But according to these scriptures, sis, what I wanted to talk to you about and show you out of the scriptures is that we are the Israelites. This Bible is for us, okay? Give me Psalms 147, verse 19. Everything that's written in these scriptures is written for us. So when you got people that's teaching this Bible that's not of us, they not teaching it right. Where did our, where did our forefathers and foremothers learn the Bible from? Because you said, you, your mama, know these scriptures, and you was gonna sicker on me. But let me ask still you this. Am. Let no, me ask you this. I still am. Where did your mother learn the scriptures from? My mama. Let's see. My mama been a Christian. My mama in her 80s. She been a Christian since she was 21 years old. Right. She divorced her husband from. Mm -hmm. You don't get baptized, you get out of the house. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my mama is full blooded. She, she and Crush didn't smoke every half a day in her life. Mm -hmm. okay. She serves God with her all. She don't sugarcoat it, she don't ask her. Okay. So now, she learned it from Christianity, correct? Correct. But okay. my mama also just like, I'm strong willed. I'm not going to take what somebody tell me that I'm not getting it from there. Right. Because I'm responsible for my salvation. Nobody else. Right. Ain't nobody else going to burn in hell but me. What have you noticed how? I've been dealing with you so far. Mm -hmm. How have I been dealing with you? I'm using scriptures, correct? Straight up. That's all that I'm going to do is read the Bible. It's up to you to chop it up however you want to. Now, there's also a way to uh, get the scripture, excuse me, get the scripture misconstrued. Because right. if you don't have that spirit that God gave you, you can be out here hustling the next person. I know y'all ain't, because for y'all to change my planet, He right. repping this all day long and he raising his son like he's supposed to. That's right. And I can't do nothing but commend him. How did he do it though? I have no clue. I you know moved how? out here like a dummy. Because he went through what the Bible says to do. Okay. I've been trying to get this boy in church since Jesus was in high school. <laughs> you understand? Sis. This boy is mainly like I am. Sis. Okay, go ahead. You're not going to get this in church. I know you're not going to. Give me First Psalms all, 147. Let's, let's get the script. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So, what is God's word? The Bible. Okay. The okay. Bible is God's word. Mm -hmm. The scripture just said he showeth his words to Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto the Israelites. Read. Mm -hmm. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He ain't gave this word, this Bible. The law, statutes, and commandments to no other nation but the Israelites. Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They don't know how to break this Bible down to tell us what you're going to get judged for, how you're going to get judgment if you break God's commandments. They're not going into this script, into these scriptures and teaching the correct way. Um, now, give me a few steps of men. Now, I'm sticking my mama. You, wait, 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 wait. I want her to hear what you got to say. Though. Oh, you going to call your mama? You didn't want I want to hear what you got to say. Let me because. finish talking to you, though. Let me finish Ready? talking to you. Because I want to just, why are you talking to me? Uh -huh. I just want to listen. Okay. That's all. Okay. Because let me tell you something. My mama don't want my salvation either. Uh-huh. But I got high respect for how my mama raised me. I'm in the streets right now doing me. But 
I know scripture, and I know God watch over me and blesses me daily. It says we need you to start keeping God's I know commandments. That. I know that. That's, obey. That's, 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 obey. Obey. That's what you need. None of this is my home. I don't give two rocks about being in this world. That's what you need to start. Because it ain't my home. That's what you need to start. I don't care about my house, my dog. Right. The only thing I care about is my car. And this ain't my car. I got a child. All right, so. Hey, hey, brother, did you get a flyer? Get one when you come out, bro. We out here to change the minds of our people, man. Our people think that just because they go to church, they know God, they spiritual. Sister, uh, I guess, want me to talk to her mama on the phone. I want her mama to hear the truth because the way that she learned is from her mama. I don't know. Okay, but, so where y'all be meeting at? We gonna see what's going on. We right got a there. school right here. Huh? It's, we got a school right here. You see right there? This is our school. This building next to us? Yes, yes ma'am. School, it's, huh? It's 1617 Northeast 23rd. And well, it's back to the park. Y'all right where y'all need to be. Yeah, we, we, we right at. in the hood. Right where our people we at. We right where our people at. Yep. But guess what? We out in the community too. Why? Because that. we love our people. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. We out here to reach our people. You don't spread the word. You ain't doing none of your work. You're right. <laughs> that's that's all we trying to do, since we're trying to bring our people up off the streets. Like you said a minute ago, you said you out here doing you. Right? You in charge of your own salvation. Yeah, but I know, I know like that. You said, right? I was raised better than You said what? I was raised better than I know that. So you are choosing to do what you do. Check this out. Sometimes God do send people back into the world to do it. Because ain't nobody bothering me when it comes to going into a trap or anything. And I still tell them niggas that's packing guns and doing all that. You need to get your behind up in church and get somebody get some salvation about yourself. So you can raise your raise your sons. So I, I'll check a person in a heartbeat. I don't care about it. Satan ain't gonna get the glory. When it's all said and done, he ain't gonna get the glory. I'm not out here committing no crimes, I'm not out here being grimy, but I'm amongst them. Because I love them and I want to protect them. At the end of the day, though, sis, you have to be that example. True. You got to be that example. True. They got to look at because, like you You're told right, me, because they do bring the like you the told me. You me. said your boy, he stopped doing everything that he was doing, and now he's in these scriptures, bringing his truth out. Right? He's yeah. he's an example. Now you have to be the example because you can't get on somebody about what they're doing and if have you're not doing have it right. myself. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Wherefore, the Lord saith, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So our people, us as a nation of people, the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, they like to say, oh yeah, I love the Lord. I'm I a Christian, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You can't right. do that without that, obeying them. Right. They draw near them with their mouth. Read. And with their lips uh -huh. do honor me. They lips, they can say all day, hey, I Far love the Lord. Me. I love the Lord, I know read, yeah. but have removed their heart far from me, read. and their fears toward me is taught by the precept of men. How did our people learn the Bible? By the precept of men. So when I told you that the way that your mother learned the Bible was through the precepts of men, what man was teaching us the Bible? Because we couldn't read when we was in slavery. They forbade us to read or do anything, right? Mm -hmm. So who was teaching the Bible? Our ancestors. Who was teaching us? Oh, he talking about the spirit. The I'm white bad. man was teaching us. Hey, right. this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to obey your master. Right. Remember? There were certain scriptures they wouldn't allow, they weren't allowed to read. Right. Right. And so we then they, they would they would read uh, John 3.16, that's all they would read. And certain scriptures that talk about slavery and things like that, but they wouldn't read the scriptures that, that pertain to you. the salvation of the blacks who are the Israelites today. That's what the officers are uh, bringing out. What you doing, Mom? Hello. No, you ain't hung up. Yo mama, hey. yo mama ain't finna get this work. You finna get this work. Hey, mama. Okay? <laughs> this Mother. Is, listen, I, I'm gonna leave you with one more scripture, okay? Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna leave you with one more scripture because right now, you, mama, you, you know understand what? what's oh. going on. You yeah. know what time it is. Now it's time for you to make a decision. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Or you got something that you want me to bring out? Oh, no, no. You, you Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Why well, you look sis, so familiar? Sis, you know you're defiling your system with that. But you're grown and yep. you're making your own decisions. So, I warned you. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. I ain't supposed to be smoking, cussing, drinking, nothing. Or driving over 80. I ain't supposed to be doing none of that. <laughs> But guess what? what? I have been baptized for the mission of my sins. If he allowed me to say, Lord, forgive me, I ain't worried about where I'm going. Because okay. he made my heart. 
Your heart? He, he created my heart. He knows. Yeah, he can it. look at my... What? I am speaking with three wonderful black gentlemen that are from the Israel United in Christ. Now I was going to sip, sip you on them, but it's all good because everything they said came from scripture, so I ain't even tripping them whatsoever. I might even look at them. That's, that's, Actually, that's what we out here for. We out here for that. Now, the Israel united in Christ. And no, remember I told you that um, Willie Rich is in the same thing, but um, I thought he was only uh, dealing with the Old Testament because he speaks a lot about the Old Testament, but no, they, they speak it out scripture, period. But remember what you told me earlier about what Christ was? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead and give me that spiel one more again. That Christ is from the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. and that the Jews are black. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned something about your heart. Mm -hmm. I want to show you what the scriptures say about your heart. My heart is deceived. So if you know this, sis, you too sharp. Yeah. You too sharp. Yeah, for, my mama you, taught me a lot. You right? too sharp to be, <laughs> to be not over here with us, setting an example for the next generation. We need sisters like you to come and help us I've on been this here mission. Done that, right? We need sisters so, like you, sis. When you flying out here? All right. Cause even though she don't... Uh, that don't run for free. Sis. That don't run for free, bro. Sis. I don't care. This is the Sabbath day. Is. It's the Lord's Sabbath day. And that means what? You never work it. That, that means that we don't deal with money on the Sabbath day. It's from Friday Ooh. sundown to Saturday sundown. Really? I'm going yeah. to rock with that then. You got to keep <laughs> you gotta keep the Lord's Sabbath day holy, sis. I don't, we not doing this for money. That, we, uh, we I know that. I we know. we take that from down. you. What makes us different down, than the pastor? You're right. Right, however, that I know. Because when I was out here in California, I had a mentoring program for foster kids. And they didn't leave out my office without me. Uh -huh. Period. I didn't take it. The entire year I had my company. I didn't take it. So you understand where we come from? Man. All day long. All right. I love this where we at, sis. This where we at. See my face? I'll be here. All right. Hey, check this out. This, the sister, we just gave the sister the truth, gave her a flyer, spit a few scriptures to her. She, she just came up twenty dollars, trying to give us twenty dollars. That's where we separate ourselves from these greedy, money-hungry pastors out here. These pastors out here is trying to break our people. They got our people programmed to where if they hear some good news, they think they got to pay for it. We ain't going to take our money from our people. This this news comes from out the Bible. We we ain't out here on no uh we ain't on the clock. We ain't out here for filthy lucre. We out here doing the work of the most high God. That's what makes us different than you dirty little lying filthy pastors. That's right. Check yourself. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.